Hello and welcome back. This is video number seven and we are going to talk about topic generation. So it's time to go one step further and figure out a larger list of topics. Now we obviously have a list that we created earlier, but we want to make sure that we verify that they are truly in demand. And that is something that people are asking for out on the internet. So how do you go about verifying this? Let me go ahead and show you. So there are several tools that you can use that don't cost you any money to try to figure out topics that are in demand that people are searching for. And the two sites are Google and SEMrush. Now SEMrush does cost money, but at the same time, they do allow a free search, which gives you a limited amount of topics. And as you can see here, I went to SEMrush, that's S-E-M-R-U-S-H dot com. And the keyword overview, as you can see here, I typed in lower cholesterol. So kind of following the topics that we've been talking about earlier. And as you can see here, you can choose countries, but I would advise just choose one country. And as you can see here, we scroll down, we can see phrase match keywords. So as far as lower cholesterol goes, we can see here how to lower cholesterol. We can see the CPC or what advertisers are willing to spend. And that's a good sign. If they're willing to spend money on a specific keyword, that means there is demand. As you can see here, foods that lower cholesterol, cholesterol lowering foods. So there's a lot about foods. You can see that there are other keywords as well. There's ad copies, there's organic search results. You can also use BuzzSumo as well to generate topics. And in addition to this, if we head on over back to google.com, up at the top here, if you put in the address bar a keyword, let's say for example, lower cholesterol, you'll notice that as I begin to type things out, Google will actually try to complete your sentence with lower cholesterol diet, lower cholesterol fast, foods, exercise, and recipes. Now, if I were to, let's say, type in lower cholesterol, just flat out, and I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see a larger list of searches related to lower cholesterol. Now, what this allows you to do is it allows you to see the high demand searches. In other words, Google's not going to show keywords up at the top unless people are actually searching for them. So if thousands among thousands of people are searching for them, that's something to be aware of. Now, what this allows you to do is it allows you to drill deeper. So let's say, for example, that we want to do a search for lower cholesterol foods and we do a search for that and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you will see everything related to lower cholesterol foods so we can see cholesterol and almonds breakfast food list recipes how to reduce it naturally without medication so we can see that and can I get an idea of the type of person that is searching? So we can see just from this list that the person searching is more likely to want to reduce their cholesterol and with natural home remedies, with supplements, with dieting and everything naturally. So if that's the case, let's do a search again for lower cholesterol plan and see what we get. So let's scroll down all the way down to the bottom and we can see that the plan consists of diet plans, how to lose weight. So losing weight can be a factor. And we can see Indian diet plan. We can see Mayo Clinic diet plan. So many different diet plans. So what this allows us to see is, is allows us to see the overall general idea, which is lower cholesterol. And within that, we can see that there's things like dieting. So let's, let's just create a notepad here. So lower cholesterol. 
And within that, we can see diet, we can see recipes, which recipes, of course, fits into diet. We can see exercise. You can ask yourself what type of exercise, lifestyle changes, what type of lifestyle changes. So as you're beginning to type these out, ask yourself questions that other people would ask, like what type or what if or why or how or when. So who, what, when, where, how kind of thing. So that way you can expand upon not just the general niche and the sub niche, but you can expand upon that. So you can see this diet and recipes could become one whole vertical of just topics, tons and tons of different diet plans, tons of different recipes, different types of exercises. We have, you know, swimming, we have cardiovascular, aerobic type exercises, running, you know, how long. And as you can see here, you can really dig deeper and deeper and deeper. So just, I would say just using Google itself allows you to really dig deeper, but utilizing other tools like Sam Rush or BuzzSumo, or even going after the paid versions of these apps and digging up actual data that says, okay, this keyword is getting a $3 CPC, which means for every click somebody gets, uh, they're actually paying about $3 cost per click. All right. So that's basically all you need to do right now is just do a little brainstorming, do a little researching and create a list of topics that Google has proven to you that it is in demand. All right, so with that said, let's move on to the next video.